Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, fellow pilgrims on our journey of faith. It's a brand new morning and we rejoice and are glad in it. Let's reflect this morning on the gospel according to St. Mark chapter 3 from verse 13 to verse 15. He went up the mountain and called to him those whom he wanted, and they came to him. And he appointed them twelve, whom he also named apostles, to be with him and to be sent out to proclaim the message and to have authority to cast out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. In this scriptural text, Jesus just applied the principles of success. Jesus had a goal, which is to spread the good news to the ends of the earth. He knew we couldn't do it on his own. Of course, as man, he was limited. Let's not dive into the mystery of the twofold nature of Jesus. The next thing he did was to draw a game plan to achieve this goal of spreading the good news to the ends of the earth. He drew a game plan of recruiting more members to his company. And he didn't just recruit anyone. The text says he called those whom he wanted. He chose them. He called them to be with him for formation and acquisition of right knowledge. By so he empowered them with the rudiment of huge success. Then he graduated them and sent them on mission. Many of our goals fail because we do not know what we want. Even though we do, we do not have a game plan. Or we do not acquire the requisite knowledge. Or we, do not, or we are not well equipped or prepared for the mission. Putting together a simple game plan for reaching your goal is very important. And it's simple. It's just about knowing where or who you are now. And then knowing how to get to where or who you want to be in the future. And most importantly, taking the bold step and the actions necessary. So begin with a focus, a goal. Study about your goal. Acquire the necessary knowledge and skills, which of course is easier in these days of internet. Then have a skeletal mind map to get to your goal. From what is in your mind, you can now have in writing a master to-do list. And finally, you can draw from your master to-do list your daily to-do list. Remember from small or little things, the greatest often grow. Our ultimate goal, however, is heaven. Do you have a game plan for that? Yes, you should make that master to-do list and daily to-do list for your heavenly rest. Little daily activities like morning and evening prayers, consciousness for God, and holy life, and so on, are very important. May none of us be found wanting in heaven at the end of time. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, bless our plans towards success. Bless all who are genuinely making their way for greener pastures. Bless our efforts to come to you who are our beginning and end. Amen. Thank you for joining in today's podcast. Good Morning Jesus is a daily podcast to start your day with. Each day's entry contains a Bible verse, a brief reflection, and a short prayer. These affords you at most a five-minute quality time with Jesus at the dawn of the day, knowing that today is the first day of the rest of your life. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.